Hey everyone, Zeon over here from Nintendo Life. So video game movies often get rumored, pitched, scripted all the time, but it's not often that they actually get made. And unfortunately in the world that we live in, usually that's a good thing because often they're not very good. But we do live in the timeline where the Super Mario Bros movie actually happened. Not the, not the one from the 90s either. We have a, an animated one by the team that made Despicable Me. We also have this official soundtrack that I Am 8-Bit kindly gifted me. And in a few years time, we may now have an actual Legend of Zelda movie with its own soundtrack that you can hold in your hands. A movie that you can hold in your hands and watch. This is no joke. Miyamoto himself confirmed that a Legend of Zelda movie is officially happening. Now there's some subjective good and some subjective bad. So let's, let's see what's going on. So this news comes to us from Nintendo's Japanese Twitter account. They've also shared this on their website and there's a translated version on there. Now this is a Google Translate, I believe, so there's probably gonna be a few different errors here, so, but just bear with me. <clears throat> November 8th, 2023, to whom it may concern. Development of a live action film of The Legend of Zelda to start. Nintendo Co. LTD today announced that it will develop a live action film of The Legend of Zelda. The film will be produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, representative director and fellow of Nintendo and friend of Nintendo, maybe friend of Nintendo, and Avi Arad, chairman of Arad Productions Inc., who has produced many mega hit films. The film will be produced by Nintendo and Arad Productions and directed by Wes Ball. The film will be co-financed by Nintendo and Sony Pictures Entertainment with more than 50% financed by Nintendo. The theatrical distribution of the film will be done worldwide by Sony Pictures Entertainment. And here we have a picture of Miyamoto and Avi Arad. By producing visual contents of Nintendo IP by itself, Nintendo is creating new opportunities to have people from around the world access the world of entertainment which Nintendo has built through different means apart from its dedicated games console. By getting deeply involved in its movie production with the aim to put smiles on everyone's faces through entertainment, Nintendo will continue its efforts to produce unique entertainment and deliver it to as many people as possible. Now the tweet, the tweet of this reads a little bit differently. The tweet reads, this is Miyamoto. We have been working on the project for a live action Zelda movie for many years with Avi Arad, who has worked on many hit movies. This time we asked Avi to be a co-producer and Nintendo itself was deeply involved in the production, officially starting development. It will take some time to complete, so please look forward to it. Poof. I don't even know where to, where to begin. Okay, so there are a lot of strange things here to cover. So Nintendo has been working on this for a few years now, which I mean, that makes sense, right? The Mario movie, I think that took, what, five to ten years to make in, in the end? Uh, I'm Between Nintendo, probably just, there's probably a lot of discussions that just have to be made to really, for Nintendo to decide who to work with. So even if, you know, maybe now they're finally, maybe they've officially started production now. We've been working on the live action film for many years. So we, we don't know how far along this movie is. Maybe maybe what they're saying is like, now they're officially starting production. Uh, the crazy thing though, I think that I'm forgetting is that this is going to be a live action film. So Nintendo America has retweeted this. And they also actually said, I've asked Avi-san to produce this film with me, and we now have officially started the development of the film with Nintendo itself, heavily involved in the production. It will take time until its completion, but I hope you look forward to seeing it. Okay, so we know that Nintendo is officially working on a live action Legend of Zelda film. They're working with Avi Arad, and the director is going to be Wes Ball. They're also working with Sony Pictures, which is very... It sounds odd considering that Sony makes the PlayStation and you would never think that Nintendo and Sony would work together again after being competitors and having the relationship that they had way back in the day. But uh, apparently this, you know, they were able to agree on this and and uh, and it just it just worked out. Beyond that, we don't really know anything else except for the fact that Miyamoto and Nintendo are heavily involved in the film. Thank goodness. But that also Avi Arad and Wes Ball are working on the film. So let's see what has Avi Arad worked on. Oh my gosh. He's been a producer on a lot of stuff, mostly Marvel films. He was a producer on Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, uh, X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Uh, oh, The Amazing Spider-Man with uh, Andrew Garfield, which I, I really like those films a lot. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, Airbound. I thought it was Air Bud. Uh, oh, he also was a producer on Ghost in the Shell, the the, rem the live action remake with uh, Scarlett Johansson. Uh, he produced Venom. Uh, uh, mm, he was also a producer on Morbius and Uncharted, which I thought Uncharted was fine. It was a fine film. So, ah, I, I mean, he's not the director. He's just the producer, which I don't, I don't really know how, what that, I should find out what that job entails. But the director, I'm more curious to dig into the director, Wes Ball. Let's see what they have done according to IMDb. 
So Wes Ball has directed a movie called Ruin, The Maze Runner. Uh, he's directed three movies in the Maze Runner series, which I've never seen. Uh, I've heard, I, I think it's based on a book. It looks like a Hunger Games style movie. Uh, but he was also, uh, he did visual effects on one of my favorite movies, uh, Beginners, which stars Ewan McGregor. Uh, there, I can't remember the other actors' names, but it, that is, that's a, that's a very strange film. And he, he only did, he did visual effects on that, which is way different than a director role. Really, let's see. He was a writer on Ruin and he was in the art department on a lot of films. Let's see. Just on a bunch of Star Trek stuff in 2009 and 2010. It's strange. I can't really tell what he's done in recent years. I mean, has he just been working on Zelda for the past while? I don't know. It's 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 strange because he doesn't really have a whole lot of d director, you know, director roles. So I suppose that that doesn't really instill any faith in me, really. But maybe it, we just don't know what they're capable of. So we'll find out eventually. I I don't think I'm necessarily concerned right now because I I <sighs> Nintendo clearly cares about The Legend of Zelda a lot and I think they they screwed up. The the Super Mario movie from the 1990s is not uh, it's not a bad movie. It just isn't a, it's not really a Mario movie, you know? And so I think Nintendo, you know, the the worst thing that happens is this Legend of Zelda movie comes out and it's very safe. But I suppose, are they going to make Link talk? They almost have to make Link talk because they made they made Mario talk in the Mario movie. Who would they cast as Link? I don't even know where to begin with that. There's so so many questions to be had. The more right right now on the surface, my brain is just accepting the fact that a Zelda movie is happening and it's not even considering the possibilities of it yet. Because so when I went and saw the Mario movie, I don't remember at what point it was, but there was a moment where I I told myself, you know, if Illumination tackled a Zelda movie, based on the the attention to detail that they put in the film, even if it was incredibly safe, I think I would, I, I hate saying this, but I think I would trust Illumination working on a Zelda film. So now to know that a live action one is happening, it I almost am more concerned with that because I think when I look at The Legend of Zelda, I, I always see that cartoon-ish nature with it. I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I want real people to act as act out as these characters but you know i'll i'll probably change my tune once it actually happens you know this isn't i'm 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 processing this all right now in the moment probably as many of you are as well but what game would it it would have to be based on like ocarina of time right is that 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 makes the most sense i mean i would love to see a live action majora's mask link's awakening would be link's awakening should be cartoonish i i think or 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 an anime I would love to see a Link's Awakening anime where it's a bit more gritty, but a live action, I don't, I don't know. That game is just too weird. And, you know, now that the Mario movie hype and news is sort of dying down, it makes sense that Nintendo would finally reveal a Legend of Zelda movie is, is happening. But I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe they, they haven't come out with like a, a direct or something. It's just a tweet. It's just a tweet that says, mm, this is, this is Miyamoto. I've been working on the live action film of the Legend of Zelda for many years now crazy i am worried about avi arad because you've seen some of the movies that he's produced but it's morbius can't be that that is a i watched about half of that movie on an airplane once and i did not have a good time but it's not like avi is the only person to blame for that movie's faults there are there are way more than just one person that works on a film. So I wouldn't just discredit his work immediately because I, I, I enjoyed the Uncharted film. I liked a lot of the Spider-Man movies that he worked on. West Ball, I've never watched any of the Maze Runner movies, but I probably should go see if they're on streaming or see if I can pick them up from the thrift store or something now, or I'd go rent them from the movie store, but we know how that works these days. So interesting times. We have a Zelda movie in the works officially confirmed. I don't really have much more to say about it than that. I'm going to get done with work here in a little bit and go process it maybe i'll have more to say tomorrow but goodness how do you feel is there a certain direction you want them to take this movie is there an actor that you think would best fit the role of link zelda impa ganondorf tingle is tingle going to be in the movie let us know in the comments down below and of course if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this then why don't you turn that subscribe button into a live action movie directed by avi arad and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we put up new videos Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there and we will see you all next time.